Okay, so let's talk a little bit about auditing and testing. So I think we talked to Kathleen here, and one of the one of the ones that kind of stood out here is uh, automated testing is something that kind of comes up and up again. Uh, it's uh, it's weird how the world sort of changes. What's old, sort of new. Automated testing was a very big push a long time ago, and then you know want to kind of go in off to the rails, and then it kind of got not so popular, and then. They got popular again with all these like JD and stuff like that, and then now uh, you know uh, people like uh, uh, James Whitaker. He's probably one of the more famous authors here for testing. He he's put it back, uh, you know, not put it on the back burner, but you know has, has exploratory testing, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And it's kind of dampened automated testing a bit, but for me, I think it's kind of come back into the fold here, especially with uh, agile Scrum type of methodologies. But Kind of talking a little bit. So why don't we just get into the presentation? So this is so this is one of part of the testing I just blew up, and let's focus deep dive narrow on this one part about uh, automated testing and, and continuous integration. Um, the other one we're going to talk about about sort of exploratory testing. But like I said, there's probably a year's worth of material here on testing here, and I have a lot of slides and I talk a lot, so interrupt me. But the second thing is like I'm trying to give guys give you. Like I'm like a tour guide, right? I'm trying to show you where all the landmarks are. There's, this is not presentation, is not the end all and be all. There's definitely a lot more stuff here. So, but but I'll try to give give you guys good, some good insights here along the way. Okay, so we're in the automated testing with the second session. We're gonna kind of cover these uh, these five points. Of what is automation? Why is automation important? Automated testing important? What, what is continuous integration or CI? You guys are all developers are probably hopefully well hooked into. Uh, uh, automate tells its relevance to continuous integration, and this is where I was going to show you guys about some little bit about JUnit, Robotium, and, and some of the other things. How, how some of the tools that exist already in mobile. There's lots of them. I'm choosing to use Android and Robotium here to demonstrate some 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 principles here. Okay, so what what is automate testing? So this is Wiki. You know, Wikipedia is always right, right? So this is Wiki here, right? So it says, is automate testing is the use of special software to control the execution of tests and the comparison of actual outcomes to predicted outcomes. Okay, that's very important here. So test automation can automate previously repetitive but necessary testing in a formalized testing process already in place or an additional testing that could be difficult to perform manually. Okay, so a couple things you want to catch when you read this, okay, it's that idea is that it's the execution part that's the automated part, right? Not the thinking part, but the execution part is the automated. When we talk about automated, that's what we mean. And the idea is that the strength of automated testing comes when you compare the actual outcomes to the predicted outcomes. Just because you automate something doesn't have any sort of any value into it, right? The idea is you want to kind of target these tests and the tests that are kind of good that you can say go or no go type of thing, or you have to have some quality of end. And you'll see that when we go to a robotium, like it's all about asserts, right? Like the idea is here. But the idea is that's automated testing in a nutshell, right? We're talking about execution of tests that are automated. And the idea we're comparing actual to predicted outcomes. So let's rephrase that. It's big and long. So I would say automated testing is the ability to repetitively execute a carefully pre-planned set of tests such that the test suite can run at any time and the results collected efficiently with little or no human intervention. So some other people may say that's automated testing. Like for example, if you have something, you press a button, it does a whole bunch of different things. I, but you have to always have to press a button and stuff like that. I'm not kind of here to get into hairy details. My thing is uh, about this repetitive idea that you take something so you can scale it. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but the idea is also that you have this comparison. The comparison is a big part here. Okay, so why is automated testing important? Okay, these are five, there are probably many other good reasons, but these are five of the ones that I wanted to show, point out to you. The first one is automated testing is, for the most part, scalable and cheaper, right? Okay, so I go into robot, body MJ unit, I add a couple more tests, and I run it, it may cost me a little more processor power, but I pay for the notebook, it's fine, or build server, it's fine. I need more testers, I may have to call it to India, or you know, go down the street, take a Craigslist ad, or something like that. The idea here is, it is a little scale, I think you all agree that's a little bit more scalable, right? The great thing about automated testing is like, they work over time. You don't have to convince them. You don't have to browbeat them or anything like that. The idea is they work when you tell them to. You jump, how high, right? Like, start, sure. Start again, sure. Stop, start, sure. Start in parallel five times, sure, right? <laughs> the greatest employee ever, right? <laughs> but the idea is here that automated testings work over time. And this is great when you're in a time crunch, okay? 
they, they move faster and also work in parallel. This is kind of another thing. It's like, generally speaking, what do they say? Something like a human can t probably count, what, seven things at one, one time? I don't know, maybe Nick has some kind of quote on this, but it, you know, I, more insight into this, but the idea is like, you know, humans are naturally sort of, there's a limit to how much multitasking, even if, if you can do it, how much you can do, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some are a little better than others. There's some variability in that seven number, but the idea is like, uh, and so even if they're doing tests and something, like, sure, they running the test, are they thinking about it? Are they putting that level of insight into it? A computer, you can, if as long as you have the hardware and, and, the, and the software ready to go, you can run them in parallel. They never affect each other. They're mutually exclusive, right? As long as you have the enough bandwidth and firepower, you can run as many tests as you want. Not having, adding one more is after you've paid for the initial cost. It doesn't cost you anything. There, th this is the parallel part that's important too. So, like I said, a lot of us are in tight against deadlines and stuff like that. Should be continuously testing. But if you're near that end part where everybody is and trying to get them, it's important to know that automated tests can be run in parallel. People multitasking, not as scalable. Idea is also uh, automated testing is more consistent. So some people are very let's use a politically sensitive word, particular, and they're very good at doing repetitive tasks again and again. Other people are less particular and will, when asked to do the same task again, will not give you the same result. Okay, so this is very, trust me, this is this one. So the idea is that sometimes, especially if you want something like a regression test or something like that, automated test is sort of like optimized for that because the computer, once you tell it to run that thing, it doesn't misinterpret anything you say. Chances are the time you run it the first time, it, when you run it the second time, it'll be identical. Not so much with humans, <laughs> right? Uh, and the idea is like that links sort of into the uh, into the fifth one here is like repetitive re repetition errors. Like I give you a good example, right? So say you're bashing this and then you're not using like uh, any of the monkey tools from like Android, but you you know you're saying press that key 500 times, right? And and you do it on a human and they say it breaks. Like was that 496? Was that 505, well, like, what? computer, really good at this, right? It'll do 500 times every time you tell it to do 500 times. It won't do 499, it won't do 501. The idea is that they're less prone to repetition errors. And this really happens in the case where you've got a test case too that's got a lot of steps and that. It's very, it's kind of sometimes optimized for automation. So let's talk a little